In this video, we'll be finding the radius of convergence of the power series, uh, the sum from n equals one to infinity of n factorial over n to the power of n of uh, times x minus three to the power of n. If you like, you can pause the video and have a go at the question on your own before having a look at the solution. Okay, let's have a look at the solution. We can write the series in the form sum from n equals one to infinity of a n times x minus three to the power of n. And this is where a n is equal to n factorial over n to the power of n. So this is the term a n. And now what we can do is apply the ratio test. So in the ratio test, we look at the term corresponding to n plus one, and we take the absolute value of it. So we take the absolute value of n plus a n plus one times the absolute value of x minus three to the power of n plus one. And we divide it by uh, the term corresponding to a n, which is absolute value of a n times x minus three to the power of n. And now we replace, we can replace a n plus one uh, using this formula. We can change n to n plus one. So we get n plus one factorial divided by n plus one to the power of n plus one here and a n is just n factorial over n to the power of n and x minus three to the power of n plus one over x minus three to the power of n with the absolute value signs uh, this is just equal to x minus three over here so I have the absolute value of that and also a quick note, uh, this value n factorial over n to the power of n is positive, so that's why the absolute value signs won't affect, affect it. Okay, so now we can do some more simplification. Um, so we have n plus one factorial over n factorial over here, so it is coming from here. And when we look at the fraction, we will end up getting n to the power of n on the numerator and n plus one to the power of n plus one on the denominator. So n plus one factorial over n factorial will simplify to n plus one. And also uh, we continue. What we see is that n plus one over n plus one to the power of n plus one simplifies to n plus one to the power of n. And now we can take the fraction n over n plus one and take this to the power of n over here. And now with some more manipulations, uh, you can rewrite this as one over and one plus one over n to the power of n. And this is because one plus one over n to the n is the same as n plus one to the n plus one over n to the n. And taking the reciprocal of this is you'll get uh, n, n over n plus one to the power of n. And now uh, one thing I nearly forgot to mention is we're actually taking the limit as n goes to infinity. And this will help us find the radius of convergence. So if we take the limit as n goes to infinity of one plus n, one plus one over n to the power of n, uh, this is a well-known limit. Uh, this is equal to e. So this is also one of the ways that e can be defined. And since we're doing one over this value, we'll end up getting one over e times the absolute value of x, x minus three. And now, in order, in order for the series to converge uh, from the ratio test, we, we want uh, this value, this ratio to be less than one. So this means that one over E times the absolute value of X minus three should be less than one. And this means the absolute value of X minus three must be less than E. So hence, uh, we get the radius of convergence is equal to E. So the converge, it converges on 
the open interval of three minus e and three plus e. Uh, also, a side note is the endpoints of three minus e and three plus e itself. Uh, so this solution doesn't check uh, those values uh, whether it whether it converges at those values, but we do know it doesn't converge if you go outside. If you go to the left of three minus e and to the right of three plus e, we know it doesn't converge uh, because the ratio or the limit will be greater than one. But the endpoints, the limit is equal to one, so it doesn't give us information on whether or not it converges. Okay, so that concludes the solution for this problem. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.